See, I don't understand this right here. Why does this happen? Why would you take off on Arkansas State Police? You have no priors. Nothing in the car is illegal. The car is registered to you in your name, right? You haven't been drinking, haven't been smoking, nothing. You have no reason to run. A simple speeding ticket turned into, from that to a felony and four misdemeanors for no reason at all. Now, don't get me wrong. This Cadillac was moving 135 miles per hour. He was pushing it. He was smoking these 5.7 liter Hemis. But what he didn't realize is that Arkansas wasn't going to give up and they didn't give up. And you already know what happens after that, man. But you got to stick around to what happens when he gets caught. Your boy starts screaming and crying. He goes crazy. He shouldn't have took off in the first place. I don't understand that. Maybe you do. Either way, let's get into it. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Knockout360, here with another video, man. So you can tell him in the house that makes it the house vlog. It's a Panther win Sunday. We just went to Germany and beat the Giants. Now, I know the Giants were trash, and so are we, but we beat them. So we're not the worst team in the league. Uh, car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets, anything and everything. You already know what's going on, man. Let's get past the intro. Let's just get into it, man. First and foremost, shout out to my man, LRHN Cash. Little Rock Hood News Cash. Check him out on Instagram. Check him out on YouTube. He's got merchandise. He's got it all, man. Go show that brother some love. But uh, let's just go ahead and get into this this tomfoolery, man. This absolute foolishness. Hold on. There it is right there. Boom. Your boy moving. All right, now we got a chase. You can see him moving. but open highway right here where's the cadillac the cadillac is smooth gone and the cops doing 114 so you know that caddy's pushing 120 130 125 right there. He got caught in traffic. What kind of Cadillac is that? That's not a black wing, I don't think. 107, 108? Whatever it is, it's pulling on that 5.7 Hemi. I don't know what kind of, you know, Cadillac it is. I don't think it's a black wing, but uh, whatever it is, it's pulling. So now we're about to open it up. Yeah, that's got to be a 6-2 or something. That's got to be a 6-2 or something. Maybe not a 6-2. I know that's not a black wing. Because a black wing would have got up out of there quickly. See 
what I'm saying? 125? What's under the hood of that caddy? 130. Let's go. So that caddy got to be pushing 135, 140. Easy. One thirty two. He maxing that hemi out, that five seven out. Listen, if you're doing 132, shouldn't you be blowing past all of these other pedestrians? I guess everybody on this highway is doing like 80, 85 miles an hour. Because, I mean, at 130, you should be blowing past all of these guys. But it really looks like he's just barely inching past them. right there. That 5.7 is staying on his ass. That cop is on his ass. Your boy hit the median and bust a U-turn on the highway. Oh, he's going the wrong way. That's him right there. Wow. And then he busts a U-turn. He thought about going the opposite way, but was like, no, nah, I'm not about that life. So you can tell he's panicking at this point because he keeps looking at that rearview mirror and they keep following his ass. They are not going to give up. Now he's getting off. Good old fashioned Dooley Ram. Wow. You really going to block the police, brother? excuse at this point. Plenty of room. this room. No reason why you shouldn't be getting away. Alright, so he's getting off. Is that him? No, he turned. Alright, he broke down. He broke down. Crashed out. He already knew it's over. Look at your boy. Get on the fucking ground. Get on the fucking ground. I gotta blur that out because of the gun. I didn't even fucking get it, dude. I was just going fucking 105. 
listen to him. That was a Tahoe he's driving. That's not even a 5.7. I'm mistaken. I'm sorry. I thought it was the 5.7 Charger the whole time. It's a, it's a Tahoe. It's a 5, what, 5,500, 6,000 pound SUV Tahoe with a bunch of uh, stuff in the car, in the uh, SUV. Stand up. It ain't so fucking What is Huh? Absolutely. He said absolutely. I'm going to jail for a long time. Cop said absolutely. Do you even have a driver's license? Yeah. Why run? Yes. Why catch a felony? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Are you hearing this? I was so fucking scared. Sit down. I was just so scared. I'm so scared. You're not hurt, are you? I was just so scared. It's just like, I, let me tell you guys something, man. When it comes to highway patrol, that's their job. The highway is their territory. They, and they take that very seriously. If you're in the city and you get a city cop, for instance, I'm in Charlotte, I can get CMPD with ease. I can get the sheriff, the office with ease. You know what I'm saying? And my T-Rex and my cat, anything with ease. And they're not going to chase me to some degree. Like at some point, they're just going to call the chase off and let them go. Let me go. North Carolina Highway Patrol, that's what they do. Like, that's what they train to do. They take tactical driving courses and, and all of that stuff, specifically for stuff like this. And it's one of those things, like, when you see one that lights you up, they're not going to give up. They're going to call ahead to the next uh, highway patrol officer that happens to be six exits ahead and let him know, hey, listen, the chase is coming to you. Get ready. They're going to, you know, if it gets bad enough, they may even bring in helicopters. They're not going to give up. Like, I think what this guy thought is if he got that one cop, it would be a wrap. He would just call off and, but no, it was, you know, I saw two other cops that entered the chase, not to mention the original cop. He never gave up. He went uh, through the, uh, you know, the oncoming traffic on the opposite lane with them. He did it all. He stayed with them. Like that's his job. A lot of officers are not going to give up. Now it's at their discretion. I think if they choose to give up, like in this situation, he could have really given up because, um, I don't know if he had a license plate or a license plate number that he could run his, his information and see whether or not he had a warrant or something, but he probably could have chosen to give up and let this chase go because at one point he was hitting 135. You know what I mean? 135 is dangerous as hell for uh, anybody, whether it's a officer, whether it's the person that's running. 135 is wild, you know? Uh, so he could have given up, but he didn't. And the guy that ran was banking on the cop giving up. And you just can't do that with highway patrol because that's what they do. City cops all day long. With city cops, once you hit about 85 miles an hour, 100, they're giving up. You know what I mean? Sheriff's department, aside from Black Hawk unit, obviously they're different. But most sheriff's department, they're giving up too. But highway patrol, that's what they do. So if you take off on highway patrol, you need to understand that you are going to be in for chase. This Cadillac had every opportunity to get away. Like everything was perfect. I mean, it was highway 
It wasn't that much traffic. You hitting 135. I didn't even realize it was a Tahoe. I thought it was a 5.7 Hemi. It was a Tahoe. And the Tahoe was on that ass the whole time. And he was whipping that Tahoe like it was a damn Tesla Plaid. Like he was moving. I mean, I, I can't get mad at the officer here. The, once again, this is another one, man. Shout out to the officer doing his thing. If you've ever driven a Tahoe, and I don't know, I'm pretty sure they have the V8s under these. Um, don't get me started. I don't know much about, you know, uh, Tahoes and shit, Chevy Tahoes and shit like that. But um, to, to be whipping an SUV like this, in and out of traffic the way he was, busting that U-turn in the middle of the highway, you got to give credit where credit's due, man. Shout out to the officer, man. But this right here is just a real bad situation. He had no reason to run. The cop said it himself. I was just going to give you a speeding ticket, bro. A speeding ticket. A speeding ticket that you can go online, pay off, and be done with. He took a speeding ticket from a simple speeding ticket to, let's look at it, fleeing by vehicle, substantial danger or death. That's Class C felony. Reckless driving, Class B misdemeanor. Criminal mischief, first degree with damage, $1,000. Class A felony, a Class A misdemeanor. Speeding more than 15 over the speed limit, Class C misdemeanor. Crossing median or controlled access facility, which is a violation. So he turned a simple speeding ticket into felony and multiple misdemeanors, man. And you saw the kid in there screaming and crying. Apparently he was born in 98, so he's right at 26. So he's a young dude, but I mean, it's just like, you know, once you make that decision to take off, you got to keep going. Like, you got to see it all the way through. What they say, you got to see it through, my boy. You have got to see it all the way through. And for him to crash out and blow a tire, uh, trying to merge onto uh, uh, the street or whatever, come on now. That, that's that's not the way to go out. If you can go out, let them pitch you or something. Let them take you out. Don't go out by your damn self. But I, I just don't understand this. This right here, I mean, I'm telling you guys, pull over, take the speeding ticket. 90% of y'all that's watching my videos, 95 probably, Everything in your car is legal and up to date. You know what I'm saying? The car is in your name. Registration and license is up to date. You got no warrants, no felonies, nothing wild. So when the police get behind you, it's a simple speeding ticket. Hey, officer, how you doing? Oh, I didn't know how fast I was going. My bad. All right, here's my ticket. All right, so where do I go? Okay, charlottemecklenburg.gov. All right, appreciate it. Have a great day. You know, go fuck yourself. And that's it. End the conversation. This kid could have done the same thing, but instead... He's got a felony and three misdemeanors and a violation. I mean, I, I'm telling you guys, man, like just, just pull over, just take the L, move on about your day, handle your business, man. Now, what I will say is when you are in a powerful car, and I don't know what type of Cadillac this is, this damn sure ain't no Blackwing, because if it was a Blackwing, I don't think we would have ever seen it after, you know, the initial, uh, uh, you know, cop pulling out. But um, what I will say is when you are driving a powerful car, there is that, that, that kind of you know, notion in the back of your head where it's like, I really don't have to stop here. Like, I, I can smoke him if I wanted to. When you're in a scat or you're in a cat, it's like, I really don't have to. I'm choosing to, but I don't have to. Like, I can smoke him if I wanted to. And I understand that because I got pulled over a couple months ago in the cat for speeding. The cop was real slick uh, in my situation because he didn't turn his lights on until he got on me. And he was like, yeah, I got you in opposite direction speeding. Like, I guess he knew the procedure. He was like, I've dealt with cars like this before. I'm not letting you get away. So he didn't put his lights on until he got on my bumper. And by that time, I'm like, he's got my make, model, license plate. It's not even worth it. But in the back of my head, I'm not going to lie to you. Something was saying, you can smoke his ass if you wanted to. But it's just not worth it, man. It's not worth it. Like, there is a, you know, the, the, the only thing to gain from that is just getting out of a ticket. That's really it. But you've got so much to lose. You can lose your life. You can you can cause someone else to lose their life, lose your freedom. Somebody else could lose their freedom and their life. I mean, it's not worth it, man. Just pull over, take the ticket, live the fight another day. Call it what it is, man. Just charge it to the game. Unfortunately, this kid right here, he's got a felony. Um, substantial danger or death. Class C felony. That sounds pretty serious. I'm not a you know a lawyer by any stretch of the imagination, but that sounds pretty serious, man. But... This kid had no reason to run. Everything that he had in the car was 100% legal. You know, he wasn't drunk, wasn't high. No priors, no misdemeanors, no felony, not a stolen car. All he had to do was pull over. And you see what happens, man. So, as always, guys, like, subscribe, comment, man. Just pull the hell over. Pull over, take that L, go on about your day, man. Laugh about it with your boys, man. See you guys in the next one. Spinny Boy Knockout 360. Check out LRHN Cash. Like, subscribe, comment over there for the full uncensored video. Peace.